What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So a day later than expected, Apple just dropped the RC for iOS 18.5, and it did come in at 7.65 gigabytes. What I want to do, and I know we don't do it all the time, thanks to the prior betas kind of running warm, I wanted to show you guys just how significantly hot this phone has been getting with 18.5 betas, and that is staying true with this RC. In the typical spots in the center of the phone in the top right, you can see just how hot it's really getting. Hopefully the heat disbursement in the next iPhone 17 models will be more improved, but just keep that in mind because it definitely is somewhat warm. But jumping right into settings, general, about, we can see 18.5 has a full build number now of 22F75. So providing there are no other issues or hiccups discovered in this build, this should be the one going public probably next Monday, and we'll talk about release dates here in a minute. But one thing I do want to take a look at for you guys is pulling up the actual release notes on the dev site if it's updated. And luckily it is, as you can see here, and if you take a look at the release notes for 18.5, one thing you'll notice is that there is an Apple Vision Pro app resolved issue, broadcast extension new feature. Again, these are kind of behind the scenes, HVF resolved issue. There is a security fix that has been put in place for security apps or for enterprise apps, I should say. There is a known issue with Siri where Siri requests to play songs. A song in Apple Music might fail across multiple platforms. They resolved issues for StoreKit. There is a resolved issue for writing tools. And that is it. Not too much else here, but if you did notice the thumbnail, we do have that new wallpaper, and here it is. This is that new wallpaper. We'll go ahead and add it. Set it as wallpaper pair. As you can see here, this is our new wallpaper, and it does change when you lock and unlock your screen. You can see the different designs that trigger along with each update. Kind of neat, if it's your thing, there will be an Apple Watch version as, as well. And once we update the Apple Watch to 11.5, we'll touch a little bit more on that. But aside from the new wallpaper, and you can kind of see it actually shifted too as well when you unlocked it, that's pretty neat. Aside from this, there was a change in the Mail app where you can now show or hide contact photos. It was always doable, just not in the Mail app. That's one of the new updates here. The other change in the settings app is the Apple Care and Warranty location. It's more prevalent, as you can see when it loads in the banner, giving you more details about eligible devices or this specific device. And there was a modem firmware change here to 1.60.02 that came from a prior beta also. More importantly, let's talk future releases. So today's the sixth, it did come a day later than we expected, like I said, but I do anticipate next Monday the 12th for the public release to go live, and then possibly a week from today on the 13th or 14th, I would assume we will see iOS 18.6 beta 1, as those have shown up recently in Mac rumors logs and all that. So hopefully that'll be coming, and that will be the beta program we will run with until June 9th. Come June 9th, we obviously know that's the first WWDC date. That's when the keynote takes place and when we're expecting to finally see iOS 19 beta 1 drop that we are super excited about. Aside from that, not much else should be coming down the pipeline. We should get about two or three betas, like I said, for 18.6. So we'll just have to check. One thing that did come up recently I almost forgot about is iPhone storage. So once this loads up, iPhone storage has been crazy recently for iOS, and you can take a look. It cut back a little bit here, but the total size of iOS, thanks to Apple Intelligence taking 6.28 gigs, is almost 19 gigs of storage. So if you only have 128 gig iPhone, that could be detrimental to your storage capacity. So just wanted to let you guys know, keep that in mind. And lastly, the last thing I do want to talk about is going to be battery and battery health. So finally, it's coming down to hurting us with these betas. In a matter of a month, we dropped from 100 to 98% max capacity. 
and you can see our cycle count is at 236. So again, just a couple things I wanted you guys to be aware of, not the biggest issue and still a huge improvement over what we had with the iPhone 15 series and ones prior. So aside from that, that's really it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You guys ready for iOS 18.6 or are you ready for iOS 19? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.